sorry about the reflection on the picture behind me. Um, sun's a bit bright today. The print you're about to see is uh, just the second print ever I've done on my um, six input mixing hot end. The first print was just a, a short one using a single tool. Previous versions of this hot end have suffered various leakage problems of filament and um, blockages of heat breaks. So I wanted to do a bit more of an endurance test using a lot more of the filament inputs. The print isn't perfect by any means, it's got various flaws because I haven't done anything much in terms of tuning this hot end. Uh, so the first layer is a bit ripply because I didn't get the first layer height quite right. There's a portion of the print a few layers up where the inner perimeter delaminated. That's probably because I didn't have the temperature right, it was too low. There's also a fairly significant seam where uh, the filament oozes during layer change and I haven't yet optimised retraction or pressure advance or anything like that. But other than that, it hasn't turned out too bad. It was a good test anyway. It took about seven hours to print. It's just a simple vase, something I knocked up on OpenSCAD. It's about 300 mil tall. Uh, diameter ranges from about 150 to 180 mil. I slide it at uh, 80 millisecond with the first layer at 80% of that, so 64 millisecond for the first layer. Three solid bottom layers, three perimeters, no infill, no top layer. Layer height's 0.3 mil and the nozzle is a 0.5 mil diameter. I ran the resultant slicer g-code file through a little python script that I've got which picks a number, a random number between 0 and 9 and inserts a tool change with that number every layer change so it looks for a g1z and then after that it'll insert a tn where n is anything between 0 and 9 so it's 10 tools one of which is clear so it's actually 9 colours so the first six tools are just the uh, filaments that are loaded. So that's uh, black, red, yellow, clear, blue, and white. Those are tools zero to five. And then the next tools are 50-50 combinations of two of those colors. So red and yellow to give orange, red and white to give pink, yellow and blue to give green, red and blue to give purple. So those are the 10 tools. There are 997 layers so there are 997 bands of color or 996 color changes throughout the print anyway the print went through to the end okay didn't have any leaks or any major problems no blockages of the hot end or anything like that so quite pleased for a, a, a second print i didn't do any purge between tool changes so literally um, when it sees a g1z it picks a different tool and just carries on printing. Um, so, so the color change actually happens on the infill or the inner perimeters. And by the time it gets to the outer layer, then the, the color is coming pure, shall we say. So there's no waste in terms of filament or time come to that. 